Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at tracing in um, a TrueCut RD works and this will be the um, Vinyl Cut versus TrueCut RD works tracing series. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. <laughs> So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now um, yeah, just a quick reminder, like I mentioned this is a mini series on the um, Vinyl Cut versus True Cut RD Works tracing. And then I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now tracing, we've covered this in both programs. but. Um, if not put them side by side yet and that's why we're covering the practical again so now we just covered the um, basic freehand tracing in uh, vinyl cut it went rather smooth i did not expect it to go that smooth normally i will rather head to um true cut already works for tracing seeing that the handles and that to me work a bit better so now how i would normally go about this first thing i'll go to file on top then i'll go import background locate the image we'll use the same image put it in then under my main menu again we go to config then page settings and at the bottom here we've got so the location and size and so forth i'm just going to scale this up a bit keep the lock on and then say modify size say okay now this thing is ready so i'll zoom in and then um let me just uh in and out just to make sure because this thing's navigation again is a bit buggy so you, you kind of have to weigh your options all the time okay so now i'm going to go to the polygon tool or sorry i'm going to go to the curves seeing that we've got a curve so like before i will select the starting point move to the next point left click there and then find the middle left click and hold in and i'll drag this point and like always make sure this line is as um, parallel to your horizon as possible it just makes the overall shape more um, symmetrical when you're finally doing it then i'll close the curve but as you guys can remember the curve is not really close so i'm going to select this one point okay let's try that again okay i don't know why i did different this time but the bar seems to be closed these videos are surprising me today with uh, not wanting to work with me or working with me too well <laughs> so in any case so then i'll zoom out here and then um last up what i'll do is i'll simply just go again to config then page settings and then we go clear background here on the bottom right click that it'll take away our reference sample and there you go we've got a shape traced rather simple like i said the control arms for true cut already works i really like because they um it's kind of a to me closer to the standard i'm used to where um, the the threshold for actually moving them or being able to activate them is a little bit larger than vinyl cut then i would say in our last little video we're going to just be looking at um, tracing or using the tracing tool within vinyl cut and i would say definitely that is the easiest way to go about tracing things but um, sometimes just a simple trace uh, does the job quite well and can be quite fast. But in the meanwhile, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also you can isolate your search on the top right here. If you do not find any training videos you're looking for under the categories, you can always go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.